Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir and welcome back to Subnautica. So I've been doing a, a long ass session of this one. It took me forever to get the Cyclops, which is now there. It's now parked right there. And then I spent a while investigating this crazy alien thing, like this monument building defense system. It's not entirely clear. I realized that I haven't actually shown you my base or all the cool things I've done to my base since the last time, like I was doing a session. So I figured this episode, I'll be showing you the new stuff in the base, probably expanding my base with a lot of the cool new shit that I have. And then finally, I think it's about time we actually sit down and go through all the data banks, the radio transmissions, everything, and just kind of try and figure out exactly what's going on. So that's the plan for this one. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more chill than the fucking recent episodes. But the first thing that you might notice is that well first, my little observatory sphere has gotten moved over here and then I have this room here which is actually super fucking useful. If I go in here, this is what's called the scanner room. And right now it's scanning for stalker teeth which actually I'll leave it on and I can basically control these camera drones and go looking for shit out there without having to actually risk myself. And it's scanning for whatever I want right now. Actually, you know what? Let's take it off of stalker teeth for now. Well, actually, I was going to take it off and then reset it. But I can make it search for any of this shit in the general area. And it, it takes a while, but it will start looking for it. And that's kind of like the awesome thing is that now I at least know where some of this shit is. Like I needed salt a while back to make water. So I set it on salt and it pointed me to like a hundred different salt. The stalker teeth, it's been kind of like a dick finding. But other than that, this thing works really well. And I can kind of like upgrade it and shit, which I mean, I could do more if I want to. I guess. I guess increasing the range would probably be a good idea. But because I also have the HUD upgrade, I can see where that shit is outside. You might have noticed these orange circles. That's what it is. It tells me where that shit is. And that's pretty cool. The next thing is I built the modification station here for my Seamoth, which I haven't actually fucked around with yet. Oh, I can name it. What should I name this thing? Okay, I'm gonna name my sea moth the sea. I, f I feel good about that. And then I think I can actually adjust the colors on it, right? Oh, I can. That is kind of rad, actually. Um, it's a little bit hard to control. I gotta be honest here. There we go, isn't she pretty now? Isn't that a pretty ugly as fuck sea moth? I'm hoping the pink will stand out really well in the water and help me find the thing. You know what? I should actually repaint my Cyclops to also be pink. You know what? I'll do that later though. So other than that, now this is my hub room where I've moved all my lockers all the way over here. I have fabricator, I have my med kit creator, and I really section shit off with the lockers. And then I have a trash here for throwing out some of the useless stuff. This is the modification station, which actually lets me build really cool shit. It's why I now have way more air. It's because of this thing here. Oh, I could build a fucking module for my sea moth. I need a depth module too. Ah, uh, I would need enameled glass. All right, that'll be done off screen. So yeah, this is like my little hub room now. And then if I go down here, I have, once again, my bioreactor, which doesn't really do much for me. And then this room here is where I did have a nuclear reactor, but for some reason, the nuclear reactor actually drains more power than it produces. So my base was constantly losing power because I didn't have anything to put in it at the time. So for now, that's just gonna be an empty fucking room and I'll revisit the issue at some point. And then if I go up here, this is my little living area. This, uh, why didn't I finish this? I think I just ran out when I was in the middle of doing shit. So I now have a bed, which my guy immediately used upon making. 
Um, okay. Was there some something to be gained by using the bed? I don't think that actually did anything for me. And I've got a desk here, which apparently I didn't leave enough space for me to sit down at, which is great because I like to sand, you know, do that modern style. And then finally in here, I've got my fucking observatory room where I can actually swivel and look at the fish. So that is my base currently, but I can build some cool shit. So let's, let's do that right away. Let's build some good, cool shit. Okay. So I can build like a little aquarium to grow fish inside of and my eggs and everything. Fuck yes. And I can also build a water filter machine. Also, fuck yes. So I'm going to have to really... I'm going to build so much shit in this episode, man. I hope I have enough titanium to do it all. Okay, so I just built my aquarium. Which... Provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. And eat it. carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. So I can put my eggs in here and they will hatch. Which is cool. But I'm mainly going to use this to fucking have fish. So I'm going to go and catch some fish and see if I can throw that in there and if it works. So let's see. I might have to start them from eggs. I would want to catch two fish of the same, like, species. And then I want to see if they will breed. So this is where this thing comes in super useful. The grav trap. I actually didn't even put it in that great of a place. Basically, it's just gonna like grab fish. I think I showed this in one episode. It just makes hunting way easier when you need to. Although right now everything's fucking fighting me, you pieces of shit, man. Yeah, okay, there I got one fish. I need... It looks like it's gonna be two peepers, probably. Okay, so I built a hatch, and now I guess I can kind of, um, let these guys free? And just sort of see what happens here? Hopefully they breed? I don't know. Hopefully they do. And then I can just go in there and catch them all, like Pokemon style. That would be awesome if they breed and then my food problem solved. And this would be my water, which is pumping shit out for me, so that's solved. Um, so there was something else that I wanted to build, which I think I saw, it's like a thermal pump or something? Where, where did I see that? It was thermal plant. I need five titanium to magnetite and it will give me energy. How big is this? I don't know, I think, I think it'll probably go down where I had planned the um, nuclear reactor. If I have magnetite, I don't know if I have enough magnetite. Oh, I do. All right, we're building this fucking thing. Huh, so it will let me, I have to put it outside. I guess it's yellow because it's not really going to be doing that good of a job, I guess. Does that make sense? But I don't really have anywhere better to put it. So let's build it here. Let's see if this actually helps at all with my power issues. I don't really have power issues, but 22 degrees. Oh, cause yeah, it's not warm enough for it to really do too much. Okay. It's still, it's cool that it like functions, you know what I mean? So that's solved. Was there anything else cool that I wanted to build? All right, so I'm gonna build a sweet ass vending machine over here. Which I think actually just gives me food. It, it's not very good food, but it's food. So now I have food and I have free water. That's awesome. All right, so that's pretty much everything. So now let's actually see if I can kind of figure out the plot a little bit here. I feel like I should probably turn on my radio. 
I really have been ignoring it. Okay, let's see. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Well, okay. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I'll need to go investigate that at some point, I guess. Really, that's it? That's all you're giving me? What about, um... What about in my fucking PDA? Is there anything else I can use here? What the fuck? I think my thermal plant is drawing too much energy again because it just fucking shut off my fucking power. Sure, biodegrade. Oh, I just ate it. Mm. I must have some organic shit. And then I'll unbuild the thermal plant, I guess, because it fucking did it. Ugh, it's the same problem I had with the nuclear plant. Well, actually, you know what? Can I make anything with the nu- uh, I can't use that because it's unpowered. If I can make nuclear rods, maybe I can fucking activate the fucking- Maybe I can activate the nuclear plant and fix shit, because Jesus, man. Welcome aboard yeah, I destroyed my thermal plant, and whoa. What is going on? What the fuck was that? Um. Um. I didn't even realize something was happening until it was happening. What the, was that an alien? I, I'm assuming that must have been the aliens. What the fuck, man? Okay, so like I said, I was trying to figure out the plot. Yes, so that facility has an energy core, which is basically a giant gun. That's what I thought. All right, guys, so I would have liked to delve more into the plot, but I guess that's where we're actually going to have to end this one. Although, no, there's one more thing that I have to do before we end it. That's true. And there we go. I fixed my Cyclops. So all is right in the world. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The next one probably won't be for a few weeks, but when it happens, I guess I'll be investigating all these signals and stuff to try and figure out exactly what's going on, try and advance the plot, try and get uninfected from whatever I'm infected with in order to be able to power down the weapon that's destroying the ship that's coming to save me, I think. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to Subnautica. So right now we're deep in the water, and you might notice there's a beacon here called Island scenes but this is actually being recorded just a couple of days well I'm feeling a rumbling this is being recorded